Tom Vilsack will face tough questions today as he begins his confirmation process to reprise his role as Secretary of Agriculture. Vilsack served under the Obama administration for eight years. This time around, he faces criticism from black farmers and advocates for not doing enough to address racism in farming. Black-owned farms are rapidly decreasing across the country. Black farmers accounted for more than 14 percent of all U.S. farmers in 1920. By 2017, that number dropped to less than 2 percent. Farmers say decades of system, systemic racism has stopped them from being able to successfully grow and keep their farms. Three months ago, several senators introduced the Justice for Black Farms Act, aimed at overturning discriminatory practices implemented by the Agriculture Department. The bill includes a commission to study the legacy of discrimination against black farmers and protections for land ownership. Joining me now is founder and president of the Black Farmers Association, John Boyd, Jr. John, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to have you with us. Explain a little bit, I know in general terms, you know, how racism against black farmers has impacted their ability to build generational wealth through their land. Well, basically, uh, for a very, very long time, black farmers have been shut out of uh, USDA uh, farm lending programs, the subsidy programs, uh, and there has been a long historic pattern of discrimination uh, from USDA as it relates to uh, black farmers. Uh, we haven't been able to get loans. Uh, we took uh, 387 days uh, to process a black uh, farmer's loan uh, application less than 30 days to process a white farm loan application. And these are some very, very disparate figures. There's, there's been study after study, uh, commission after commission, Congress after Congress, that have found that black farmers have been discriminated against, but there has, has not been a real fix uh, uh, to the issue. And that's why we were so hopeful that uh, with this new president that uh, some of these things uh, will change because we've been totally shut out of the uh, last administration, uh, former Secretary Sonny Perdue. Uh, I've met with every agriculture secretary since the Carter administration. And my meeting with uh, the former Secretary Sonny Perdue was the worst meeting I've ever had with a sitting uh, agriculture secretary. So we're looking for uh, better days. I want to, yeah. And I want to get to your feelings on Tom Vilsack in just a moment, but I, I do want to talk a little bit about the fact that this is a fight that you've been in for the long haul. I mean, you won the first discrimination lawsuit against the USDA over 20 years ago. Uh, tell us what you specifically you saw in your community that pushed you to file that lawsuit, and have you seen anything change in the two decades since you won? Yes, it, it took me uh, 30 days to to win the, the lawsuit, and it's still the largest settlement in history for black people, uh, a totaling in two settlements for $2.5 billion, where roughly uh, altogether 40,000 uh, black farmers received uh, $50,000 and 12500 for for the taxes. So the, the settlement was very historic in nature, but it took too long. And uh, uh, thank God I, I ran into a young senator in the hallway then uh, Senator uh, Barack Obama, who later became president, who helped sponsor my bill in the Senate uh, that passed into law called the Claims Remedy Act of 2010 that allowed uh, for $1.25 billion uh, for longstanding discrimination, where I myself faced mm -hmm. discrimination by the Department of Agriculture, where uh, I was spat on by a farm loan officer. I was mm -hmm. called the N-word by the highest official at Farm Service Agency here in the United States. Um, I had my application tore up and threw in a trash can and uh, was deterred from applying for federal assistance and federal loans. Uh, so there's a long-standing pattern and history of uh, discrimi dis discrimination against uh, uh, black farmers. And I want to remind people, it's the oldest occupation in history for black people in, in the United States is farming, where now we, at the turn of the century, we owned over one million, uh, uh, there's one, one million black farmers, and we owned over 20 million uh, acres of land here in the United States. And we're down to roughly four and a half million acres and about 45,000 
uh, black farmers uh, uh, that are left still uh, plowing the soil and tilling the fields. And, and uh, we've had a tough road to hold. And, uh, and we want to thank you so much for sharing your important story with us. How does the Justice for Black Farmers Act begin to rectify uh, some of the, these injustices? And uh, what more needs to be done? Well, I'd like to thank uh, Senator Booker and others for for uh, sponsoring the bill and, and listening to uh, my pleas and others. It addresses the long-standing issue of land loss. Uh, that's the first thing it addresses, and it also uh, provides uh, uh, more of accountability uh, by the United States uh, Department of Agriculture. It calls for inclusion in uh, farm programs, for example, where uh, today black farmers are absent virtually absent from the U.S. Farm Subsidy Program. Those were all the payments that uh, former President Trump touted would go out to farmers swiftly and equally. Uh, very few, a handful, went out to uh, our nation's black farmers. So that bill addresses uh, some of the long-standing uh, uh, issues. And uh, I know that uh, the chairman, uh, the new chairman in the House, Chairman Scott, is uh, looking at hosting a very historic uh, a hearing in the coming weeks. So uh, we're excited about the possibilities uh, that this new uh, administration is, is bringing and in this, this, this new Congress, uh, uh, the House and Senate, and are looking speaking, forward to working with leaders there to make a change. That's, that's right. And speaking of the new administration, you mentioned your negative experiences with Sonny Perdue. As you know, President Biden has chosen Tom Vilsack to lead the Agriculture Department. What do you yes. make of that choice? And what are you looking to see from Vilsack and the Biden administration specifically in these next four years? Well, Secretary Vilsack wasn't, wasn't my first pick. Uh, for certain, and I uh, was a little concerned when they first uh, uh, selected uh, uh, the former secretary to come back to the Ag Department. And he was a little slow in uh, helping me uh, campaign in the House and Senate uh, for the Claims Remedy Act of 2010. But I do think he's going to uh, uh, get confirmed, and uh, hopefully uh, he will change and uh, uh, bring to the forefront uh, the issues of uh, uh, facing black farmers. Uh, so I've had uh, a few lengthy conversations uh, uh, with uh, Secretary Vilsack, and he says he wants to do the right thing. And uh, I urged him uh, to appoint uh, more blacks that want to do the right thing, and Hispanics and women and uh, Native Americans uh, to uh, secretaries and undersecretaries and deputies. Uh, that's the way you bring real change, to put those type of persons in place that can help execute the right policies that will that will help black farmers uh, and and other small farmers. Absolutely, everything you say makes so much sense. Thank you, John Boyd Jr., for joining us. We really appreciate your time and your insight. Thank you very much for having me.